K-I-L-R Killer Games Simmers and pilots, I am the Killer Gamer, and welcome to my tour around the world with Flight Simulator 4 by Microsoft. Well, we got a little uh, short hop that we're going to do. We're actually going back to Chicago. <clears throat> we're following, in case you didn't realize it, we're following the same, the same flight plan that we are on the other simulators which starts with the Commodore 64. So, let's talk about what we got here. We're here, Lansing Municipal, and we're going right here to Chicago Midway. Pretty, pretty, pretty simple. And I think all we need to do is just set our Chicago Heights radio. We could always set Chicago here too, but Oh, what is that? 33, 35, 30, 34, 340. <laughs> Something like that. All right. Let's go ahead and set it then. We're already on Chicago Heights. And there we go, 340. So now we'll just... Uh, Get this thing started. Waiting for the engine sound. There's the engine sound. Okay, we'll put down one thing of flaps. And I think we're on a good runway. Go ahead and go to the end here, and then we'll take off the other direction. You know, I wonder, I have to check this out, when, um... People were making their own scenery for Flight Sim 4. Were they doing it around the sublogic scenery? Or did some people do it as a replacement? As in, probably so, because probably some people didn't want to buy the scenery discs. never get turned around on this thing without going off of it. Alright, let's do a uh, request to take off and insert to transmit. Yeah, let's see, at least you can see the version of... Flight Simulator that I'm using, 4.0B.
Zero two zero one, okay. Again, I'm not sure if it really looks at the transport ponder or not. Almost a transporter. I don't think it looks at the transporter. <laughs> What's the temperature? I'm not getting a whole lot of speed, it looks like. Turn on the carb heat. Maybe it's getting cold. Whoa, I'm gonna miss I'm missing my radio here. Yeah, Talia. I sure am. I think that's okay. I think the airport is right. Maybe. I thought this was it. I don't think that's it. I think that that airport off to the left there, I think is how. Let's make sure here, Joliet. show you here. We're going to tune in Joliet here and it looks like the 060 radio once we pass it we should be close. Okay Joliet, oh it's already set 112.30 so then we'll just set this to 060. Uh oh. Oh wait. Okay, no we haven't we haven't passed it yet. We're we're on we're to the left of zero six zero. <clears throat> and I'm still going up. Really? My throttle's like halfway down and I'm still flying upwards. And we're still going up. 
We shouldn't be. My goodness, I've got my throttle like more than halfway down and I was still climbing. There's downtown Chicago over there. And it's turning into nighttime. And I think this blinking light is where the airport's at. Turn on our lights. So this represents dusk when the sky is still blue and this is all dark. So we don't have uh, gradual colors yet. That, that started with Flight Simulator 5. Not too much to talk about because uh, we. This is a short flight, so can't really get into anything too much. There it is. Let's ask for landing. Request to land. Insert. Microsoft Flight Simulator requesting. Landing clearance. <laughs> it's so general. It's not like, not like you, you're even talking to the airport. And it's not the right phraseology either. Gear down. We'll bring down a thing of flaps. We'll start turning in here. After I did my documentary after X-Plane on Midway, I got a really good sense on what was actually, or I should say what's actually here at this airport. I got a good, uh, a, a good feeling and a good grasp as the airport as a whole. Before this airport used to confuse me because I wasn't sure where the runways were, especially on these old ones. But now after seeing after doing my documentary and looking at the airport uh, for real, for, from real images, I have a much better idea which ones are going to be the runways now. And there's a white castle. Of course, they're, they're lit up in white, so... <laughs> That's another uh, hint. Although I see two runways. It should be runway 31, yeah. There should be 31 right, left, and a center. Which I don't seem to be centering on here. The one in the middle or the one that I'm trying to center on is actually center. I think these have Vassy lights too. I see a red and a white light of some kind.
kind of hard to tell if you're too high or not. Uh, you totally have to rely on those VASI indicators. See the red over the white? It's right here. You know that saying, red over white, I forget, red over white, you're good. White over white, you're too high, and like red over red, you're dead. <laughs> Ooh, for a moment, I saw like a couple of colors on the clouds. Yeah, it's, I just saw it, like an orange. That, that, or my eyes are playing tricks on me, but it looked like a cool effect for, you know, the sun going down. We're still on a good glide slope, it looks like. Maybe they didn't make 3-1 center until later. I don't think I see the other runway. We'll have to see what this says when we land. If it actually ha if it actually says 31C or 31L. Maybe they didn't have a, a center when during the time that this was made. Yeah, it says it says left. Well, that's interesting. Okay, cool. <clears throat> I think I see a taxiway right over here. Either that or this is the taxiway. I, I can't can't for sure tell. I do see the field box. <laughs> field box right over there. Oh, I don't know. I think we're going to park right here. And call it good. Whoops. Alright. Well... Short flight. Here we are at uh, Chicago Midway. And now well, there's not too much uh not too much more about it. Um I think for our next flight we'll say that I took a ten minute break, right? That that seems reasonable enough. Take a quick 10 minute break and then uh, we'll come back for the next leg of our journey. All right, thanks for joining me and we'll see you soon. If you enjoyed this flight and trip back in time, then you might enjoy some of these other videos I made of the same flight. This is just a small sample of the other simulators I'm also using for the world tour, so you can check out how things compare there if you like or perhaps you have fond memories of one of them and just want to see more. There will be more flights, so remember to subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you around in the skies.